Hi guys, it's Patrick again from PDF Careers. I've got Shani with me. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks. How are you? Super, super duper. So, no, thanks again. So, um, Shani and I have been doing a series of videos, and I hope they're helpful and you know getting uh, some something from it. So, with today's session, I've got a question. So, um, I, I and and this is a very interesting one. I think from you know, I guess different angles, but. I guess where do you see the importance of recruiters in this market? Um, you know, do you think you know there's a need for them as well? Yeah, absolutely. So I think there's a lot of misunderstanding from candidates and also the business about what the function of recruitment is. Um, so I'm going to talk about internal recruitment, which internal is the role. Recruitment. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So it's. So, you know, a candidate might ask, and this is something I would have asked before I did this role is, you know, why do we need a recruiter? Why can't the hiring manager look at the CVs? Well, first of all, the, the really simple answer is, well, they don't have the time. They've got to do the job as well. They can't go, you know, hunting for candidates. The second thing is there is a skill to looking for uh, to, to sourcing the right candidate, right? You know, the, the way you read a CV regardless of the role, the way you reach out to a candidate, the candidate experience when you engage with them and being able to ask the right questions to get the particular answers is a skill that recruiters have that not all hiring managers have. And another thing why we need, and, and now let's say that there is a hiring manager that can do all, all of that. Well, mm -hmm. We also need recruiters because they play an HR function. So sometimes a hiring manager thinks they need person A, you know, this type of profile. But from a recruitment perspective, they're recruiting for the whole business. They have a bigger picture of the entire business while the hiring manager is just hiring for his team and he has his wants. But as a recruiter, you can, you can see, you know, look, well, you know, we can't have everybody like this, you know, um, like profile A that you want. This might not be good for diversity or this might be, um, this might clash with this other team. So it's, it's providing a big picture and it's providing balance. And also, I guess in, in, a, in a way it is educating the hiring manager on looking at the big picture and balancing the overall business needs from just the individual hiring managers needs. So, I mean, that's something that the, that the internal, um, you know, recruitment function plays. I think that's very important in a business. <clears throat> yeah, no, and that's a very good point. Um, it, it's not necessarily about the, I guess, the macro micro. Uh, I think, I think what uh, the, the, the other reason why I think, um, I guess, internal recruiters are quite important is because I still believe this recruitment is one of the most important aspects of any company. Mm -hmm. If you can get someone that can help you find the right people for your company and companies are made up of people, then that's yep. going to you know, make the biggest difference. You know, whether you get someone that's going to, you know, uh, impact other people positively or negatively, you know, someone yep. that maybe can help um, bring the vision, the strategy and the scope, you know, so no, it is very important. And you're right. Uh, with, with line managers, people don't realize it's like um, it's 10 percent of their job, if not less. They've got businesses to run. They've got teams. To yeah. run. They've got, you know, heaps of other functions to do. So that's why, you know, people like yourself are very valuable um, in, in terms of a business. Um, yeah. Yeah. When, when I was in the you know wonderful world of uh, internal recruitment, um, that was a function. I think uh, a lot of people took, uh, and like, uh, kind of, yeah, they took for granted because you know your job was just to you know find people and you know uh, you know kind of replace. But I, like you were saying, if you can provide that consultative approach and be a kind of like a business uh, business partner or you know provide a bit yeah. of strategy, then it makes it, may, it can make a big difference as well. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's um, you know it's it's like yeah, exactly. It's being that trusted advisor on the HR front, the recruitment front, you know, and, and exactly to your point, you know, an organization is made of people and, you know, the, the recruiter is someone who brings on those people and that eventually defines the culture and, and what that company is, you know, um, so, so it's, it's very important, I think, mm. yeah.
Okay, cool. So another question I've got for you, Shani, is when candidates go for interviews, one of the questions that catches a lot of candidates off guard is, why do you want to join us? Why do you want to join our organization? And I guess, what would your feed or input be to that? Yeah, so um, look, I think this is a question that you need to be prepared for because I ask that of my candidates, whether they've applied for the role or whether I've scouted them for the role. I always ask, why are we talking? Why are we having this conversation? And I think um, what there's no right answer, you know, there's no golden answer for this, but you need to think about how this company fits in your trajectory, so your personal goals, career goals. So that's something you should be thinking about anyway, regardless of if you're applying for a position or not. Um, you should be constantly looking at your job and going, is this leading to what I want to achieve in my career, in my life? What am I passionate about? And it's okay if the answer is not, I'm passionate about this bank, you know, X, Y, Z bank, you know, it's okay if it's the role that is drawing you. This specific role, you know, might give you exposure to ABC that you really want to have exposure because you're passionate about it. Or maybe this role might give you, um, might contribute to your knowledge of, you know, X, Y, Z technology that you're, Latest that you've Technologies, cloud, or, you know, Yeah, something. cloud, AI, machine learning. You're passionate about this. You think that this is where the, you know, where the future is headed and you want to be an, a part of that, you know, and this role is going to really help you move in that direction. So even though they might say, why us, why us, why our company, don't just see it as, hey, look, it's your company and I don't want to apply for any other company. A good candidate can say, hey, look, I'll be honest with you. I am open to other companies or other roles that also provide this. But what I'm looking for is this, this and this and this role caters for that. So um, answer it honestly um, and have and don't um, go in with the answer, not with you know the intention of impressing them and hoping to say what they want to hear or saying the golden compliment that'll get you through it's about um expressing your your needs and your desires in a role and aligning that with the job that's how you should answer that question in my opinion and, and valid opinion uh, <laughs> I, mean, I guess i would take it um and thank you for that as well i will take it uh, i guess one step back as well in terms of doing your due diligence, you know, making sure, you know, the company you're going for does facilitate what you want. And yep. this is the question, what do you want? What are your motivations? Because there's a lot of people that look for work, but it's kind of like the process. It's kind of like, you know, ah, oh, I've worked here for two years, you know, oh, I just need a change. You know, or it's like, uh, you know, I don't know why, but I'm just going to start looking for work. I think yeah. you need to be really clear about your motivations. Why? And look, it can be, you know, it could be money. It could be change in personal situation. It could be, you know, career aspirations, whatever it mm -hmm. is. I think yeah. you need to have that quite clear and then figure out again, kind of like you were saying, right? Figure out whether the company can facilitate that for you. Because yes. it was really interesting. I think like um, someone told me years and years ago, um, and hence why, like I was in internal recruitment. Um, and then, you know, one, and, and I'll be completely honest, one of my motivations and one of my goals is that I wanted to achieve a certain level of salary. Mm -hmm. And um, in my head, I was like, okay, you know, I want to make, you know, this X amount. And then someone just asked me straight up, okay, cool. So you're in internal recruitment. What's your next role? So at the time, okay, moving maybe into a team leader or a manager role. Okay, cool. What's after that? And then you go like that. And then he goes, okay, cool. So what salary can you earn from that? And then I realized the salary that I wanted could not have been met through any of those opportunities that I would have progressed to. Mm -hmm. So then that actually changed my whole career tra uh, trajectory because then I realized it's like, if, I, if that was one of my goals, then um, you know, I needed to change my, I guess my career path so I can facilitate mm -hmm. that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a, you know, look, 
Um, in terms of recruitment, you know, money is a big factor, but you know, I'm still very big on terms of trying to help out people. And that's the reason why I'm doing recruitment. But, you know, that's just an example of motivations. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's a good example of being honest with yourself about, you know, what, what's driving you because, um, you know, ultimately you're going to do a better job if it's a, it's a role that has the right motivation there, you know, that can help you hit what you're looking for, regardless of what that is. Right. So Correct. I think it's, it's about honesty. It's not about, let's see if I can get this job, you know, look good brand name. It's not that, you know, yeah, uh, and for me, you know, like, you know, it's one of my motivators because you know, got a little little uh, eight month old mouth to feed, and then I've got to um, you know try to figure out how I can afford a bigger house so I'm not you know working for my uh, wife's uh, walk in wardrobe <laughs> and bags and stuff. So yeah, that that's kind of my motivation for me, so I can get my own office. Yeah, exactly, and that's that's just life, you know. Everybody knows you need you have bills to pay, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Recruiters do have lives and bills to pay. We're not just <laughs> money hungry people that try to screw over everyone, which uh, I kind of get the impression people treat me like a lot. I actually had no. someone uh, hang up on me the other day <laughs> as soon as they heard really? I was from it. Yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, that was all good. Over what? I think, I think um, it was, it was, I actually approached them on LinkedIn and then uh, they, they said, give me a call. And then when they heard that I was from an agency, they just literally hung up. <laughs> Uh, it's like, a small world and you know you know who you treat right and wrong you never know when it comes back to you uh 100 percent. but yeah, yeah. Well, thank you again um that was really insightful um uh, and look i'd love to get you on gone in, uh, again in the future so thanks for your time and i uh, hope you have a you know good evening yeah you too thanks so much for having me no problem thanks Amy. bye see ya